One of the best attributes of the good programmer is to leave comments and document the code. So I want to show you the two ways by which you can add comments to Python code. I brought up one of the scripts that we'll be playing with later in this course and what this script is about doesn't really matter. But what I want to show you here is that I've got uh, two types of comments integrated. The first one is up at the header of the script. I'm just going to enlarge the, uh, the pane here for the code. And you can see that in green letters, at least with the theme that I have selected, I've got lots of text that describes this code and provides some information about the code and how to use it for the user that will eventually be running this code on their ESP32. And you can see that the, at the beginning of this block of text, I've got three uh, single quote marks and the end is marked by another three single quote marks. So just three marks like that will create a block at the beginning and the end. You need to have those three quotation marks. This is a, a useful way to add comments if you are planning to have comments that span over multiple lines. If you just want to have a small amount of text for a comment, uh, you, then you can use a comment that starts with a sharp symbol and that is followed by the text. And you can have this kind of comment at the beginning of a line or sitting on its own like this, or you can make it part of a line of code. You can comment that line of code by adding that uh, code at the end. I call this embedded comment like this. So I typically begin my scripts with a header which contains comments over multiple lines, provides as much documentation as I can that I think is going to be useful for the end user of the code. And very often I also add comments integrated inside the code itself using this single sharp symbol. Uh, very often depends on how much I want to write either sitting on its own line or I add the comment after the actual Python command on the same line.